if you guys still have this bunk looking head unit that barely works, you guys are doing it wrong. There's no other way to put it. Look at this thing. This thing is a piece of crap. The BRZs came with this head unit. I'm pretty sure like half the FRSs didn't even have a screen. They only had buttons. If you guys still have this 2013 piece of technology, you guys are doing it wrong. There's no other way to put it. And it's time for a freaking upgrade, bro. And that is exactly what we're doing today to Amanda's BRZ. What do we got for your car today? Nice new head unit, baby. Nice new head <laughs> unit. We're getting rid of this piece of junk once and for all, and uh, the car still isn't running. The motor is still currently all apart, but that is not going to stop us today because today we have a major upgrade for the BRZ. Now, I always say that one of the most important mods are interior mods. Driver mods are always fun because you're driving your car constantly, and what's the one thing that you can do that's quick and easy that makes your car more enjoyable? A head unit change. A head unit, steering wheel, shift knob, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing today. We got a bunch of little upgrades. Most exciting thing that we're doing today is this nice new head unit, man. This thing is gorgeous. Look at this gigantic screen. It looks like a freaking Tesla, bro. Maybe not a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, maybe not a Tesla, but it does look really good. This head unit is from a company called iDoing. This is pretty much like the same thing as C-Cane or all those other Chinese Android head unit brands that Subaru has. I had a C-Cane head unit, which is almost the exact same thing, but I heard iDoing is just a little step up from C-Cane. So I'm really excited to throw this into the BRZ today. Look at that, dude. That thing is freaking gorgeous. Can you bring that in through the passenger seat? I want to compare the old one versus the new one. You're going to get a whole freaking TV in here now. Before, after. Damn, dude. That is going to be a huge upgrade. So this is an Android head unit. So it's going to have CarPlay. It's going to have Android Auto. It's going to have everything you need. It sucks. There's no car play. You can barely, it barely ever connects to your phone. You get lucky if your phone connects to it right away. This is going to get out of the car, yeeted into the trash, and that <laughs> is going to go yeeted into right there. And my favorite thing about this head unit is that it comes in like the shape that replaces this entire panel. So it's not like a universal head unit that like would fit in here and barely fit and there's like a little gap around, you know what I mean? It's all just gonna fit really nicely, it's gonna flow really well and it's not gonna have any fitment issues. This thing looks legit. Just look at this thing, dude. It's gonna fit in there so nice and it's gonna look so good. What an upgrade. What an upgrade. <laughs> First thing is first, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. So in the box, it came with a bunch of wires and it actually came with a few tools to pop everything out. So let's pop the old head unit out so we can pop the new one in. Slider in there and boom, look at that. <laughs> All right, that's kind of scary. <laughs> All right, there we go. Old trim is out, never going back in. I got two 10 mils right here to pop this green out. Unfortunately, it didn't come with 10 mils. Now just pop this out and easy as that. Boy. That's a thick boy. <laughs> For like doing absolutely nothing and having no capabilities, it's a lot of piece of computer. Right. Like, look at how many wires there are in the back. What are these wires for? <laughs> Please let me oh know. Nothing special, apparently. <laughs> Nothing, dude. Just unclipping all these wires. Damn, what the hell? Go, babe, babe, babe. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. <laughs> We're waiting for a very important call. I'm waiting for a very important phone call, which might just have to end this video early, but I'm waiting for a very important phone call, and I thought that was the phone call, and it wasn't, and uh, yeah, big rip. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get clips out, just use a screwdriver. Boom, look at that. Easy way out. Old head unit is out. They took a million and one clips, dude. Look at this. <laughs> look at how many plugs there are, and yet this thing does absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> the new head unit should be plug and play. Let's go check it out. So here is the old head unit. This thing looks like poop. And then here is the nice new one, dude. Look at that. That's nice. That is nice. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> this screen versus Bonk. this screen. Come nice. on. That's just a nice piece of technology. Oh, yeah. These things are usually just plug and play. Let's see what came in this box. We got a microphone. We have got a antenna for the radio. We got the USB for CarPlay, two USBs for CarPlay. And this is for video, which we're not gonna do. This is for the reverse camera, which we are gonna do. Luckily there's a... Construction guide? Construction yeah, but guide. we're not gonna read the instructions. Who reads the instructions? <laughs> Only dumb people. <laughs> Or are we dumb for not reading the instructions? <laughs> I'm just gonna try to plug shit in and figure it out. They, I mean, look at, oh, there's a lot of plugs. That's a smart way to go. <laughs> Anybody so, think he could do it without this manual? I'm, I'm gonna do it without the manual. He's already confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bamboozled. Oh, and this fits here. What the heck? <laughs> this fits in so many different places. Nah, he folded. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's looking at the manual. <laughs> Leave me alone. So the harness with the yellow plug is for the backup camera and for a bunch of other things. Since we're gonna put a backup camera in here, we plugged that in already. Little purple plug over here is for a USB wire, which is gonna be used for CarPlay. The wire with the blue plug is for the mic, which we are gonna install. I'm not quite sure what this harness is for yet, but all the wires that are inside of the car right now have to get plugged into probably somewhere over here. This is the OEM mic. It's not gonna be able to work with our new head unit. We take the new mic, just stuff it right in there, and then boom. Look at that, OEM Plus. I clipped it onto here so it kind of has like some grip, you know what I mean? Now we just feed the wire through the headliner, through here, and then back into there. Hopefully we have enough wire. That's the biggest concern right now. Oh, let's go! Let's... Easy peasy, lemon, wasn't that easy, but I'm not gonna push this up all the way just yet. I'm gonna leave it dangling. Now we kind of just tuck the wire up on the headliner and bring it down throughout the A-pillar. I think it might be a little bit tight, but I think we have enough wire. Tuck this into here so no wire is exposed for a super OEM look. So right now we got the wire tucked up in the headliner throughout the pillar, and uh, right now it's underneath the steering column, but we still have to get it behind the dash. And I don't think it's gonna be able to, I don't think you're gonna be able to see through the camera, but there's like this smallest little opening. Can you even see it? Oh, you can't even see it through the camera. There's like a little small opening where we're gonna tuck the wire through here, and then it's gonna come out behind of the head unit. I'm arm deep. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we have the wire ran through the headliner, down the pillar, and right now it's underneath the steering column. But we still have to somehow get it behind the head unit because you know, obviously it has to plug in from the back. You have to tuck the wire up from behind here. Like there's like a little opening. It's the smallest little thing. Can you see it through the camera though, from here? There's like the smallest little opening where you can feed the wire through. I can't see anything, so I'm kind of just like, Feeling it out. Look at that. Nice and clean. Got the wire through. Well, we got plenty of wire to play with. Plug that in. Look at that. That's OEM as hell. That's so sleek. Right. You can't even see anything. You have no idea what's going on. But like I said, we have some plugs that we need to use from the OEM harness. So this plug looks like it's gonna plug right into there. And I'm gonna take all the plugs that are on the OEM harness and plug them right into here. Like I said, this head unit is meant for this car, so you don't really need like an adapter or anything. Lay this down right over here. Now, this harness, I'm just gonna plug whatever looks like it could get plugged in. Does this look like it could get plugged into here? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, we might have a winner. We got a winner. Just keep doing that. <laughs> Can't forget the mic wire. That goes right into... Boom. Look at that. Let's just throw this in the back and make sure this thing actually works now. This is my favorite part about it. Look at that. It looks like it belongs. Like, it doesn't look super out of place. Now we just gotta figure out how to plug this in. Yeah, it's a really snug fit though. I'm like scared to push it. So nice It's though. nice. Hold on, wait. Let's clean this up real quick. Oh, oh man. It makes that the car is... look 10 times better. Right? What? Since it's just off, it just looks like a mirror. <laughs> It makes the whole interior look so oh much Oh my better. god, look, dude, look at this. This is 2022 right here. You ready to turn the car on? Yeah. Let's turn it on. Let me uh, connect the battery and uh, let's check this thing out. I'm excited. Oh, it's a Toyota symbol. It's not a Subi symbol. First startup, baby. That's a big upgrade. <laughs> I want to change this from 24 hour time to 12 hour time, but damn, this thing looks good, dude. All right, let's see how responsive it is. Oh, okay. That's actually, that's actually pretty responsive. It could be better, but it's not bad at all. I don't even know what this head unit has. We're actually like discovering this thing for the first time. So, oh, moving the apps around. We can connect through Bluetooth. We got YouTube. This is an Android head unit. So you basically have an Android tablet in your car, which is pretty cool. I don't know how well you guys can see it through the camera, but this quality is nice, dude. This thing is super bright. And uh, so far, so good. Connect your phone. Oh, okay. So here's CarPlay loading up for the first time. This is the same thing like in the Evo. <laughs> but look at that. We got CarPlay, baby. Let's hear the radio out. That's loud already. Hell That's yeah. not even full volume. Dude, that quality is so good. Break it down to some little head. 
not get copyrighted today, but damn, that audio quality is nice. nice. So far, audio quality is mint. The CarPlay just looks beautiful. Like, look at that, dude. That is high quality. Go back to home, and then now we're back to the Android head unit. You can actually connect this to Wi-Fi, and you can, like, download your own apps. Bro, you can be driving and go on YouTube. We're not connected to the internet yet, but you can check your email. You can go on Google. You can search stuff up. You can see the weather. You got Play Store, but most importantly, we have CarPlay. That's like the most important thing now. Like if you're in 2022 and you have a car, what are you doing if you don't have CarPlay? I'm really excited. We got CarPlay. Like look at the before. Look at before. It was just looking super bunk, super old. And now look at it. It kind of like modernizes the entire interior in a way. You know what I mean? We got a black Apple wire. We kind of fed it through here. So it's kind of hidden. I absolutely hate when there's like wires around my legs. So I put it towards the passenger side, but now thinking about it, this is your car. So I'm probably going to be in the passenger seat <laughs> and I'll probably feel the wire, which is going to drive me nuts, but it's okay. Okay. I doing head unit for the win. Now all we have to do is either get a black whatever this is called. I'm kind of I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> we gotta either wrap this in the same black this is in or either get a entire new piece, but this thing fits super nice like it doesn't look out of place that's my favorite thing it doesn't look like it doesn't fit you like you're sitting in your driver's seat you look over and it's just a nice piece of technology This thing looks so freaking fire, bro. Look at that. It just looks like it belongs in. I think the coolest thing is that we have the mic hidden up here. So like you have the mic that comes with the head unit, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Cause remember we were gonna put it up by over there yeah. and we decided not to. You I'm, can't even tell. Right there. I know you can't tell. That's like my favorite part. It's like it's, the best thing ever. It's low key, it's OEM plus, and it's just, I don't know, I love it. And this head unit too, like shout out to iDoing for making a dope looking head unit, something that flows super nice with the car. It doesn't look too big, you know what I mean? It looks like the perfect size. It kind of matches with like the whole center of the car and I don't know, it looks really good. I'm super happy we got this thing installed. Shout out to iDoing for making a dope product. Interior mods are super important, right? Right. Okay, so let's keep going with the flow. So when you're driving, you're touching your shift knob constantly. We put a nice shift knob in here. I always recommend getting a good shift knob. We just got a whole new head unit where we can play music, look at maps, be on a phone call, all that good stuff. Super nice head unit, so we improved that. Now, we have two more things to improve. What are you always touching when you drive? The steering wheel. Time to change it out. Ooh. Hell yeah. Time to change out the steering wheel and then also time to change out this handbrake. This boot is gonna have to wait a little bit. If you guys know anybody that sells these boots, like cool customized boots for both the shifter and the brake. Let us know down in the comments because this thing has, uh, it's seen better days. Let's actually disconnect the battery so the airbag doesn't blow in our face and also so the battery doesn't die. True. So I told you guys earlier, I'm waiting for a very important phone call and I just got off that phone call and some things are looking pretty good for you today. So we're actually gonna hold off on the BRZ. I know we said that we were gonna start doing the steering wheel and stuff like that right now, but I think right now we're gonna hold off on the steering wheel. We got a little bit done today. We got the new head unit in and uh, let's take one more look at it. Let's show the boys one last time. Look at that. Look at how freaking gorgeous that looks, dude. That looks amazing. I'm really happy with the new head unit. We're gonna leave off here with the beers here. We're gonna tuck it back in its little corner. I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a little bit because something may or may not happen. Whenever I pick up the camera, we'll see whatever happens. I'll let you guys know if it's good news or bad news or whatever it is, but uh, I'm really excited. If you guys have any guesses, leave it down in the comments. Don't skip ahead, leave it down in the comments if you guys have any guesses on what's going on. If whatever happens, happens, I'll let you guys know. See you guys in a little bit. morning guys it is the next day so last night didn't actually go according to plan and uh, whatever was going to happen actually didn't end up happening and I don't want to talk about it too much because it might happen but I don't want to say anything just in case it doesn't happen I don't want to give you guys any false hope or anything but last night Amanda also pulled an audible and a pretty cool audible at that you want to show them what you got it was fast acting but... yeah it was it was pretty impulsive but oh my god dude I don't want to take it out <laughs> I know it's so gorgeous instead of putting in the D&D &D steering wheel that we had Amanda bought a carbon fiber BRZ OEM. Is this OEM or OEM? I would say OEM. OEM plus, plus I mean. I mean, yeah, it's, it looks OEM plus, but it's not actually OEM plus, but it's a very OEM plus looking steering wheel and it's carbon fiber, dude. 
Look at that, just some good old carbon. <laughs> that looks so gorgeous and I'm, I'm actually really jealous of you. This <laughs> looks so good. I want this on my car. I want this on every car I'll ever have. A nice flat bottom steering wheel with carbon fiber and just nice perforated leather. Like, oh man, this is nice. Let's put these side by side. So here is the old stock wheel. Looks super basic. And then here is the nice new carbon wheel. Like, wow, <laughs> the difference is pretty intense and this thing just looks a whole lot better. I'm really excited to throw this in. This airbag gets swapped over onto the new wheel and then these plastics that go behind the steering wheel also get transferred over to this wheel and uh, it should look pretty good. Now here is the steering wheel bare bones. Here is this steering wheel bare bones. Like, wow, this is so much better. Plastic piece right here. And this should go in exactly how it came out. Just like that. So now, pop this back in here. I gotta make sure we don't mess with the clock spring. So, okay, real careful with this. Feed the wires through. Yeah, we wanna make that tight. And then to put the airbag back in, you just line it up and then give her a little good old boop. Okay, so other than this badge looking just kinda dumb, this looks so freaking good right now. Dude, the flat bottom steering wheel is the move. Oh my God, this badge looking dumb. You gotta get a new like badge or a sticker or something. I know, I'm gonna. Yeah, it looks dumb. It's kind of throwing the whole thing off, but wow, this steering wheel though, you gotta feel it out. Wait, feel it out. This is your car. I'm like having <laughs> fun in your car. You gotta feel it out. It looks like ugh, everything's just lining up. It, it's flowing really nicely. We gotta put the new uh, this brake boot This gotta go, in. but. I mean, it, we need a new brake boot. We have the brake handle already, which we'll probably just throw in right now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jay for the brake handle. <laughs> the interior, I'm actually like really loving the interior I right know, now. I'm so in love with it's it. It's coming out so good. I'm just getting more and more excited for this car. <laughs> and the funny thing is that it doesn't even run. We're doing all mods that like you need when you have the car running, right. but the car is not even running. <laughs> you have the factory horn, you have cruise control, you have an airbag. So like, let's just say you, you know, Let's yeet into somebody. Let's I'm just say saying, that. I'm just saying, if you yeet into somebody, you got protection. It looks really good. I really like the steering wheel. Head unit looks really good. Shift knob. Uh, uh, somebody, yo, we gotta do something about this brake boot and the shift boot. This, this stuff gotta go. The interior is starting to look like a serious vibe and I absolutely love it, dude. That looks amazing. If you guys don't know, at the moment, we can't really drive this thing because uh, the motor is completely all apart. And right now this thing is, uh, it's looking like half the Subaru is doing this world. No motor. She'll be running soon though. We're waiting for a few more things to come in, but that is all for the BRZ today. Oh yeah, by the way, actually that's not it. We gotta explain one more thing. Half the car is gray, half the car is black. Yeah, we're in the middle of wrapping the car. We're wrapping the car black, <laughs> like you guys could have probably guessed. We still have the rest of the car to wrap, but we're kind of just wrapping it on in the background and not really making it a big thing. But that is all for the BRZ. Behind the scenes of Amanda filming TikToks. <laughs> <laughs>